Hey there, Hofstra fans, and welcome to the WV Mason Coaches Report. I'm Mark Wiener, joined by the head coach of the Hofstra Pride men's soccer team, Richard Nettle. Coach, how's it going? Yeah, great. Thanks, man. So, one and one week for you last week. First, let's get to the win against Drexel, 2-1. to one. What were your thoughts on that matchup? Very tough win in, in difficult conditions. Drexel are a good team, you know, two-time uh, reigning champion of the CAA and uh, well-organized, a good team, they pass the ball well. And with the conditions being windy and uh, rainy, it was a tough first half. They passed the ball well. They had the conditions in their favour. The wind behind the backs, and it was. Uh, I thought we had a great first half, and we came out one one. And uh, second half, I just thought we dominated the game. And I think we had what 10, 11 shots to one second half. And uh, I thought the goal was going to come. It, it came in rather fortunate circumstances. A penalty, shall we say? But. Uh, uh, you'll take it, my dispatched it, and it, I just thought it was a great win for us against a good side. It was a very interesting matchup. Two penalty kicks in one game. Why, why did that happen? What do you think was part of that game? I think conditions were a big factor, you know. The ball skipping off the surface, and it's difficult sometimes. I mean, it's supposed to be intentional, but for me, I would have said both were debatable penalties, but the referee gave them, um, and uh, you know, both were dispatched, and it's just uh, the nature of the beast. Tough conditions. I felt sorry for the defenders, but uh, both defenders in case. But again, we'll take it. Uh, then a two nothing loss against UNCW. What, what were your thoughts on that? Yeah, UNCW. Uh, you know, senior led and well coached, but a very tough team. Uh, we travelled there on three days rest, and I think they'd had a week off how the schedule goes. I just thought we were lacking a bit of energy. Although the first seventy minutes, the game was very even, and uh, it was a. A tremendous game and not many shots on goal from either team and uh, I just felt whoever scored first was going to win the game and uh, they got a nice lovely goal off a set piece that was knocked out and knocked back in and finished it wonderfully the young man and then we were chasing the game and he left a couple of gaps at the back and then Jamie Dell finished one and he's a good player he's got uh, tremendous athleticism he may have a future after uh, after the CAA in the pro game I hope and I hope he gets a chance and uh, just uh, Beaten by a, a very solid UNCW team, but I feel as if we if we have the same rest as them, I think it'll be a very good game if we meet them again down the line. Well, your senior captain, Mayi Bemich, now with nine goals on the season, most of them coming in conference. Would you say he put this team on his back offensively to make you guys go on this hot streak? Yeah, well, as a coach, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say the team has to provide the chances, and the, but then Mayi does have to finish them. So I think a little bit of a combination. You know, we're getting the ball to him in good spots, and he will be the first to say that. And, uh, but he's a quality finisher. He's one of the best in the country, and you give him a chance in front of the goal, he usually finishes it, and he's calm with the penalties and calm with the chances. So from our point of view, very happy to have him. We're going to miss him next year, but uh, uh, he's doing a great job for us. Do you think you need to see more scoring from players other than Memich? I just want the ball to go in the back of the net <laughs> of the opposition. I don't care who scores, to be honest. So, but it's Maid or the rest of the guys. But Maid being on form does create space for other people. He, he gets the attention of their uh, defenders and hopefully it'll op open up areas for our other guys as well. Let's talk about your defense for a second. You haven't allowed more than two goals since September. What do you think has made your defense so good? I think it's the team unity. How we defend as a team. Uh, Gary Buck, the assistant coach, is really well organized on the field defense for us and I think we defend from the front backwards and that's credit to the guys and, and my coaches they do a wonderful job and I just think we, we're very well organized so uh, I think the mentality of the team's been strong you've got to defend you've got to have a strong mentality and they've got that mentality and uh, it, it's an acquired mentality I believe and I think through the season we've just got stronger and stronger our, our approach to it has been uh, individually and collectively has been outstanding now, right now your team controls its own destiny. You win two games, you host a CAA tournament. Is this home field advantage possibility important to you? It would be, but we're not looking past the Northeastern game. We haven't beaten Northeastern in a number of years, and it's going to be an incredibly difficult game that we, we've got to try and pull out of the bag. If we win that game, then we know going into the last game, another victory would give us home field advantage. The most important thing for me, for me is not to lose focus on the Northeastern game because uh, well coached, feisty, they've got a couple of young players who are dynamic and we, we can't lose sight of what we're trying to achieve here, which is a victory against North East and that's the only thing that matters. So there's no pressure on you and the team knowing that these two wins will get you home field? Uh, 
I don't think so. I, I think it's just a case of the pressure is the next game, and that's what we're focused on. So, what do you have to do against Northeastern Elon this week to get those victories? And what's your offensive strategy, well, offense and defense? Well, it's the same as it's been all season. Defend collectively with passion and, and a, a tough mentality. Pass the ball well, and in the last third, let the players show their own genius. You know, let them show flair, creativity in the last third and just remain confident and calm and finish your chances when you get them. Head coach of the Hofstra Pride men's soccer team, Richard Nuttall, thanks so much for the time. Thank you very much. Come out and support your Hofstra men's soccer team Wednesday and Saturday, both home games at 7 o'clock. This was the WB Mason Coach Report right here on BillHofstra.com.